Hi everyone, it's Laura from the Brantford Public Library and welcome to Spring Break. This is Creature Creations in the Fabled Stables. The Fabled Stables is a new, fully illustrated, immersive chapter book. It's a whimsical and imaginative series written by award-winning author Jonathan Oxier and illustrated fantastically by Olga Damadova. Jonathan Oxier is one of our Spring Break fe featured authors and he'll be joining us on Saturday, April 17th at 2 p.m. I hope you register and join in the conversation. I'm sure he has all kinds of great things to share about his writing process. But today, I am excited to introduce you to this amazing new series. I'll be giving you a sneak peek of the magic that's inside this book. We'll be reading one chapter from the book and the rest is up to you. I hope you'll go check it out at the library. After, I want you to let your imagination run wild and get really creative in creating your own creature creation. We'll have some supplies you can pick up at the library and you can also use things from home too. So, on that note, are you ready for the book? Okay, let's get to it. I am so excited to introduce you to this amazing, magical new series, The Fabled Stables. Book one in this series is called Will the Wisp, written by Jonathan Oxier and illustrated by Olga Damadova. We do have it in an ebook format through the library and also in hard, hard copy format, just like I've got here. So once I've done this first chapter, I want you to put a hold on it and grab the, the book to see what happens after chapter one. I'm gonna leave you hanging, I'm just saying. The Fabled Stables, Willa the Wisp, here we go. Chapter One. At the top of the world sat an island, and at the heart of that island lived a boy named Augie. Everyone is good at something. Augie was good at caring for animals. Wherever he went, turtles peeked from their shells, birds hopped closer, and worms wriggled up from the ground. In most ways, Augie was just like other children, except for one thing. Augie had a job. Most jobs are boring, grown-up things, but not Augie's job. Augie worked at the Fabled Stables. The Fabled Stables looked very small from the outside, but on the inside... Whoa. Look at our creatures. Right? The stables were filled with one-of-a-kind creatures. Some were magical, some were mysterious, some were just plain weird. Augie marched between the stalls. He sang, come big, come small, come breakfast for all. The hungry herd rushed to meet him. Animals can be picky eaters. Luckily, Augie had a magical horn of plenty. All he had to do was reach inside and pull out the exact food that each beast loved to eat. How great would it be to have your own horn of plenty? What would come out of your horn of plenty if you reached in for yourself? I would get pizza, pancakes, ice cream, broccoli, and strawberries. Those are my favorites. He fed the hippopoto mouse, the bush squid, the long beak curmudgeon, the yawning abyss. Augie loved his amazing beasts and they loved him right back. That didn't stop a few of them from trying to eat him. But just like each of these creatures, Augie was one of a kind. He was the only boy on the island and even the best job in the world can get lonely without a friend. Do you think the Wampus ever feels lonely, Augie said. So what if she's lonely, muttered Fen. At least she's not face down in a pile of dung. Let's look at Augie's rake. It has eyes. Fen was also one of a kind. He was a thing called a stick in the mud. He could make himself into any shape Augie needed to do his job. Right now, Augie was using Fen as a rake. Maybe you and I could be friends, Augie said. Fen rolled his eyes. I'll take my chances with the dung. Well, that's chapter one, all done. And that was the Fabled Stables, Will of the Wisp, chapter one. I hope you'll check out the rest. What did you think of our story, The Fabled Stables? So, so far, so good? 
I hope you liked it. There was definitely some interesting creatures in there, right? We had the hippopotto mouse, we had a bush squid, so many different things that you could do at home and use your imagination to create your own creature. So, this is our challenge for you. I want you to think about what your creature would look like. Will it have one eye? Will it have lots of eyes? Will it have one ear? Will it have a horn like a unicorn? How many arms would it have? Will it be tall, small? You get to decide. The library is going to give you some supplies that you can pick up from the library in your spring break kit. And in that kit, there are some things like pom poms, googly eyes, pipe cleaners, toothpicks, styrofoam balls, feathers, popsicle sticks. I mean, use what you want. And if you want to use something that you have at home, some other great things that you could use at home might be some egg cartons, some stickers, anything you can think of. Let your imagination run wild. I have created this, this here with some pom-poms and some pipe cleaners and lots of googly eyes. I call this the mummy because it has eyes everywhere and it can see everything, just like a big mom, right? Now, I use a, a skewer here. You can use a skewer if you have those at home too. It's just something that I had at home. I want you to let your imagination run wild and I cannot wait to see what you come up with in your creature creation. Thanks everyone for joining me today for Creature Creations in the Fabled Stables. I hope you liked that first chapter and I really hope that you check out the book because there's so much more to that story. You thought that was good, wait till you keep reading. Also, don't forget to register for our Jonathan Oxier author event on Saturday, April 17th at 2 p.m. I he may even speak to you a little bit about the Fabled Stables, you just never know. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoy your spring break. Don't forget to check out our website, brantfordlibrary.ca, for all kinds of other great activities that we always have posted there, and all, of course, the great things that you can borrow from the library. And I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone.